All of these characters are the same snake, or at least all have the same goal. Here's what I'm talking about. Welcome back to the channel. My name is TJ, and I post my random theories on anime and TV shows. Hope you enjoy this video. You might be wondering, what connects all these characters together? What we first need to understand is their motives. Why they did what they did, and how it is similar to one another. First, we will be talking about Sir Hiss. Sir Hiss is the secondary antagonist in Disney's 1973 animated film Robin Hood. And he's the right-hand man for the main antagonist, Prince John. Sir Hiss has been in lots of different forms of media, even being in a mobile game called Magic Kingdom. The basis of the movie is Prince John is the greedy king, and Robin Hood is the savior who steals from Prince John to give back to the people. Hiss is the mastermind of the movie. Of course, he doesn't act like that in the movie. Completely the opposite. In the movie, Hiss is the one always getting beaten and verbally abused by Prince John. But the whole reason why Prince John is in power is because of Sir Hiss. At the beginning of the movie, we learn that Sir Hiss is the one who used his hypnotic abilities to hypnotize King Richard into going on a crusade, which left the throne empty for Prince John to step in. After Prince John stepped in as king, all the people become poor because he raises the taxes almost every other day. And at this point, we get a sense of Sir Hiss's morals. Because he's fine with stealing from the poor. He's fine with cheating people out of their money and hypnotizing King Richard to go on a crusade. But he's not fine with killing. Or since in this scene, we can see on his face, he was terrified by the thought of hanging the priest. Why does Sir Hiss do the things he does? It's safe to say that he does them for a sense of power, respect, and status. And being the number two to the king, Sir comes with a lot of status and respect and power. At least you would think. But Prince John never gives that to him. We can see towards the end of the movie, he slowly realizes that He's found himself trapped playing the peasant to a tyrant he created. Next is Ka. Ka is the secondary antagonist in Disney's 1967 movie Jungle Book. Ka is in tons of tons of media and in different movies and different TV shows and different games. So I'm just going to be pulling information from the first movie and the second movie. The basis of Jungle Book, the first movie, is we have a man cub who's grown up in the, in the jungle with a pack of wolves. Then Shere Khan comes back, which is a man-eating tiger, and tries to hunt the man cub. And Bagheera and Baloo tried to get him to the man village mm -hmm. before Shere Khan could get to him. That's the basis of the film. Now let's get into Ka's part in the movie. We first encounter Ka while Bagheera is taking Mowgli to the man village and they stop to rest in a tree. And this scene is a classic Ka scene that a lot of people remember from their childhood when he pops out from the top of the tree and hypnotizes Mowgli. And this is an interesting part where Bagheera wakes up and realizes that Ka is about to eat Mowgli. And we can see the terror on his face, not just afraid for Mowgli, but afraid for himself that, oh my gosh, Ka's right there. So obviously in the jungle, Ka has respect 
and Ka has power. And we can see that many other animals know of Ka. Shere Khan doesn't think of Ka as a big, fearsome snake as Bagheera does, more of like eyes and ears of the jungle. We can see him many times go and find Ka asking where Mowgli is and asking for different things because he's a 30 foot snake that has that can hypnotize anybody. So obviously he's going to know what goes on in the jungle. So what makes Ka do what he does? It's safe to say that it's just appetite. Throughout both movies, he's after Mowgli just because Mowgli is there and he's hungry. Later in the second movie, we can obviously see he has a grudge against Mowgli since he has gotten knots in his tail plenty of times and a lot of beatings by Mowgli. But he's just a predator at the end of the day. But with a grudge, which makes him a very interesting villain along with Khan and King Louie. Ka's relationship to Shere Khan is very interesting. Shere Khan seems to be using Ka for information, which makes sense because in, in a lot of versions, Ka is supposed to be old and knows a lot about the jungle's history. And in a couple different series, Ka even is Mowgli's ally and helps get him back from King Louis and the monkeys, even gobbling up a couple of King Louis' minions. Next is Bud. Bud is a snake from the 1989 show Chippendale Rescue Rangers, from the episode Good Times, Bat Times, where a snake, a spider, and a bat are all henchmen for a witch called Winifred. And that's the basis of the episode. They're trying to help the witch gain ingredients to make her more powerful. Just like all the other snakes, they, they're a henchman to a bigger bad guy. And yes, Bud does also gets abused, just like the other snakes. This part is a little more interesting. Ka from Jungle Book ha has a cameo on Chippendale Rescue Rangers, which is weird. I don't know if this is the episode, but it would make sense and tie it all together that are all these characters the same character? Alright guys, this is the end of the video. And if you like this content and you want to see more of my anime and TV show theory videos, hit the subscribe button and comment down below which one of these snakes is your favorite. Stay peachy. Kid TJ. What are we gonna do? I've already subscribed.